When searching for scholarly work on an artist, the very best place to go in our library is Art and Architecture Complete. This is a database that has journals and magazines and book chapters that are focused on art. So, if we're searching in here, um, an easy search is for a very famous artist, Mary Cassatt, who has a well-established career. Uh, so when we search for somebody who is famous, we'll see that we'll get a lot of results, 303. And as we scroll through the results and look on the left-hand side at the filters, you'll see that 44 of these are academic journals. That means it's probably a scholarly source, though you do need to be careful that it might be an editorial. So definitely pay attention to the page numbers and look at whether the work actually has the characteristics of being scholarly. That would include having a bibliography at the end that's pretty extensive. Um, the author is usually somebody who's an expert in the field of art, and um, it's often a fairly lengthy article, though these things can vary. So keep that in mind. You can narrow to academic journals. Notice, however, that there are 98 book reviews. And so this is significant because in previous searches we've done using WorldCat and the library database, there's a lot of books to choose from. And trying to figure out which is going to be the best book for you to use that would give you the most scholarly insights, um, you might want to read through some book reviews. Book reviews will help you distinguish a work that has completely addressed new elements and insights into the artist, and one who's giving more of a cursory overlook. And you don't want to waste your time looking for looking at books that really aren't considered as significant. So this is a great way to narrow it down if you're looking at a very significant artist. So another search that we could do though is for somebody who is a little less uh, well known because they are current. They're, um, they probably have a large following, but um, they might not be known by everybody. So Catherine Opie is an example of somebody who's more current, who might not be quite as well known, though definitely a famous person. So we have a little bit less of a number of results. And um, if we scroll down, you can see, again, we have book reviews. This time, however, even though we have 127 results, only nine of those are academic. So let's go ahead and narrow down to those so we can take a look at them. So we're definitely seeing um, that they're coming from good quality publications. Let me go over here to page options and I'm going to change this to detailed so I can get a description of the article. So this will help me make decisions about whether I want to explore this. Um, I would double check things like Make Magazine. Um, I might take a look at that even though it said that it's academic. I might look at that and understand maybe this um, publication which is normally just a periodical magazine, might have some scholarly elements to it. So you might want to look up Make Magazine and make sure that they do accept scholarly articles. Another key characteristic of a scholarly article is that it's peer-reviewed. So when you're looking at a work um, like Make Magazine, then you want to double check whether they, when one submits an article to them, what is the review process? Is it that an editor looks at it or is it peer-reviewed? And by peer-reviewed, it means that it's a blind review by other experts in the field. So this is a, um, one way that we can look at some scholarship. So what if you find that you really just can't find anything on your artist? One last ditch effort that you can do in Art and Architecture Complete is to go to Advanced Search. And since the default is to search for your keywords in the abstract and the citation, which means it's just that summary and the description of the article, um, what you can do is you can change this pull down menu to all text. So now you're looking for articles that are about your artist, but anywhere in the article. So this might not seem significant, though you can see that we did increase our results by about 300. If we scroll down and go down to the academic journals, we have increased by 20. And why this is significant is once we move past some of the ones that um, are definitely significantly about Cap and Opie and um, probably came up in our original results, what we can see, we go to the next page, is that there's going to be ones like this one here, which does not mention her at all in the uh, description nor in the citation abstract. And so what this means is that there's probably a section about her in here. And so it's looking more at her work thematically and how it applies to other artists. So that's another way that you can increase your scholarship. 
A couple more things that I want to talk about in this before we close out is looking at full text access. So you can see we have HTML full text and we have PDFs, but as we go through our results, and this one, in this case, we definitely are finding pretty much full text access for almost all of them. Um, but there will be times when you run across an article that does not have one of those. So I'm desperately looking for one now. Let's check the front page again. Um, so this one, for instance, right here, Minimal Shifting Boundaries. This isn't an academic journal. It's not a book. So we know that um, technically we should have access to the full text of this. We don't normally have access to the full text of books. If you notice that something's a book, you want to check our library catalog to see if we own it because um, it's not going to list the full text here. But since this is has nothing underneath it, um, no full text finder button, which I hope to show you in just a moment, um, it means that we probably don't own this work, so you should go ahead and order it through Interlibrary Loan. Interlibrary Loan is on our library homepage. You click on the Interlibrary Loan button, you go to request an article, enter your name and ID number, and then complete the form that appears, which will only ask you for the citation information and then it'll be emailed to you. So let's go broaden our search so I can see if I can find something that is going to be just available through our full text finder so you can at least see what that looks like. Again, here's another two articles that you'd have to request through interlibrary loan. This one, however, that you see that has full text finder. Full text finder means that we do have access to this article. So you want to click on full text finder and then you want to follow the prompts. So it says that it, this article is available in Science Database. So let's click on that link and it's going to take us out to Science Database and hopefully it's going to take us directly to the article. Sometimes it won't take us to the article. Um, sometimes it just gives us an error and we have to look up the article ourselves. So I'm going to just see if I can find anything about Catherine Opie here. Oh, so it's got it right here at the top. So we can totally see that this is right on target. So I hope that this helps in terms of um, guiding you through using Art and Architecture Complete as a research tool. If you need any help, come see us in the library.